can you give examples of based on uh, based on this what you quote quote you read that you know what would be differences of uh, opinion that could be acceptable within our range as sadhakas so this idea that i maybe i can start with the example which i had uh, when i was my early years of my spiritual life mm-hmm. and when i would read books i would like at that time there were no physical digital books or physical books i would like to make notes and put some border headlines and things like that and my spiritual teacher also the person my first shiksha guru he also liked to do that but then i had another shiksha guru who said this is bhagavatam this is this is pure pristine don't write anything on it do you think your words can add to the bhagavatam so we asked that to our guru maharaj is one sadhanat maharaj and maharaj said that no both approaches are fine he said that you can consider the book to be a deity and you feel that nothing should be put on the bhagavatam is the deity bhagavatam is krishna then you can treat the bhagavatam like a shalagram shila and you don't normally decorate the shalagram shila but you can also treat the bhagavatam like a deity of krishna and the marks that you are having are decorations on krishna so you make sure that you don't scratch any text when you are marking it so it is a very sweet way of reconciling to opposing opinions so that is the time when it, it struck me that oh this this there is a possibility for diversity and the yes. diversity doesn't necessarily to have to uh lead to difference it just uh, is individual flavor or individual nature yes you want to reflect that uh... y- yes um okay. would you mind if i went back to what you said to some oh no no i'll stick with what chetan sharma was saying so chetan sharma so can reflect you are... on what he said also please whatever you feel okay. just we don't have to go so, into just go ahead please Thank you very much. So um Swami you were saying that the idea of diversity really um you know not debating seeing things from different perspectives the um the the quote that it brought to your mind is from the CC I'm just trying to find it on my text that um yeah uh, that once that it strengthens the mind I forget the Sanskrit I've actually got it on my text somewhere yeah. but one shouldn't avoid the discussion of controversial texts because by discussing them one's mind becomes strengthened um, oh yes siddhanta so, baliya chitte na kare alas that, that's Don't... right and unfortunately um, my, my my intelligence is not so good to be able to remember it because i've written it down but the end of that quote in the cc is the, here i got it it's the cc adilila 2 uh, verse 117 so yeah. the end of that is that one's mind becomes attached to shri krishna mm. so it's it's developing on the point that um, chaitanya charan brought up that you developed uh, chaitanya charan brought up that we have to understand from shastra why we're performing austerity in order to cultivate the the determination the vrata to perform that austerity and then you cited this verse and uh, so just the one addition i wanted to kind of like put onto that which um for me is very important at least is that one's mind becomes attached to krishna it's this attachment to krishna that makes it easier to perform austerity mm. um and i would like to cite uh, a shastric verse to support uh that perspective which is uh, 11330 um uh, proper says that by discussing learning how to discuss with the devotees uh one one's loving relationships become developed and one experiences mutual happiness and satisfaction and by such discussions one is able to perform tapasya because we are atmaram we are pleasure seeking if we don't begin to get a romanticha uh, what's, what's that 10 uh, 10 9 is romanticha to shanti cha yeah, romanticha if we're not getting our pleasure from sadhu sangha from and what do sadhus do when they come to give sangha they discuss shastra so if we're not developing cultivating our loving friendships and our mutual satisfaction and happiness it's really hard to give up the inclination to get our pleasure from asat sangha and uh, and you know activities which are 
not spiritual life, than spiritual practices. So I think as well as determination, it, it, our sadhu sangha should be done in such a way that it's giving us pleasure. Our mind becomes attached to that sadhu sangha because Bhagavatam and Krishna are non-different. If our, as our attachment for discussing Bhagavatam is developing, our mind is becoming attached to Krishna. And it's that higher taste which really makes it easy to easier to perform tapasya, as well as the conviction of its necessity. <laughs>